The recent tensions between Israel and Hamas led to hundreds of deaths and unprecedented violence inside Israel itself, often pitting Jewish neighbor against Palestinian neighbor in some instances. The anger threatened to rip civil society in that nation at its seams. But as Matt Gutman reports, it also led to an unexpected gift born out of tragedy. And with a fragile ceasefire in place, it reveals a glimmer of hope for the future in the conflict-ravaged region. It was the sound of sobs that filled the room. Rhonda Oais is gently weeping. She is a Palestinian Israeli who just received a life-saving gift. She's sitting between Effie Yehoshua on the left and Ira Yehoshua on the right. They are Jewish Israelis. It's their hands, clasped in hers, tenderly stroking her arm, that do the talking. This moment all the more remarkable just two weeks ago, as Israeli jets tore through the sky in Gaza, as Hamas rockets rained on Israeli cities, another explosion took place. In cities with mixed Jewish-Muslim populations, long-simmering anger by ethnic Palestinians with Israeli citizenship over what many describe as second-class citizenship shook the nation at its core. Black smoke from burning tires rose above cities like Lod. Young Palestinians clashing with Israeli police. Hundreds were wounded, dozens arrested. On the evening of May 11th, as the conflict was rapidly escalating, Ira's husband, Yigal Yehoshua, was driving home from a family get-together. Police say a group of Palestinian riders began stoning his car. Police said he was hit with several rocks in the head. Yigal's brother took me to the spot where it all happened. Those burn marks, the broken glass, still there. His family still struggling with what happened next. I think it's there. We were only there for a minute before his brother Effie couldn't take it anymore. Effie wanted to take us out here, but uh, he just told us he, he can't stand here anymore. Ega, they tell me, managed to make it home, but collapsed. Suffering massive head wounds, he never regained consciousness. On the way to meet Rhonda, Yigal's family tells me they decided that the right way to memorialize the man who loved people so much, who loved Jews and Arabs, would be to donate his organs. Didn't matter who got them, they said, as long as it brought life. And in the van, I ask Ira if she's emotional because she's going to see Rhonda. She says, yes, I just hope we'll be able to stay in contact and that another person will be able to live because of ego. A few days earlier, Rhonda got this phone call. After 10 years on a waiting list and thousands of hours on dialysis, Rhonda would finally get a kidney. The surgery was performed by a Palestinian Muslim transplant specialist on a Christian Palestinian using the kidney of a Jewish man, Yigal's kidney. There are moments of quiet in the back of the van despite Effie's attempts at small talk. We drive the 40 miles up the ancient hills to Jerusalem where Rhonda lives. In the stairwell, Yura tells me she's nervous. Then that knock. Hello. There is a familiarity that transcends culture and language. They sit and silently speak the language of mutual compassion. A few moments later, I ask Rhonda about her emotion. She struggles with the words, but tells me that it saddened her that her life was saved because other Palestinians killed Yigal. Effie says they came here because they wanted to close the circle. It was hard not to notice the way Ira was stroking Rhonda's arm. <laughs> As the visit winds down, Effie asks Rhonda to come visit them. <laughs> Rhonda says they are like family now, inexorably linked by that life-saving gift. 
And as they hug before parting, Rhonda tells Ira to take care of herself. And Ira says, you take care of yourself. Now you are taking care of two people. And they hold each other, a moment of grace and of hope. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Jerusalem. An unbreakable bond. Our thanks to Matt Gutman. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.